Hey guys, and welcome to another video by me, Absolute Quality. So today, I've, I've thought about this topic for a very long time. I've thought about it for a really long time, and I think that I'm finally ready to divulge my energy onto the channel, onto you guys that are watching this video right now. And, you know, I, it's, it's something that's super deep and something that's super probably not going to happen um, maybe in a very long time, or if ever. Uh, but I, I kind of just want to throw it out there and see kind of what maybe you guys are thinking about this topic. So, uh, what if COD only had one developer? What if? You know, just, just think about maybe what would happen, what would be the implications if COD only had one developer. And by one developer, I mean either A, they pick Treyarch or Infinity Ward or Sledgehammer Games. You know, just picking one of the two, or one of the three to completely solely command COD and, uh, you know, I just kind of, what what would happen? What the heck would happen? What in the heck would happen? So I, I wrote down a few things that might happen that could possibly happen if this were to happen. So uh, COD would obviously take longer for new games. Um, it, it, it would make more sense to have maybe a polished off game, but at the same time, you kind of see uh, other developers you know, running with one single game, and the game is still very successful, and it's years down the line, and the game is, itself is still the same one that they released 10, 12 years ago. Um, Call of Duty could turn into something like that. I'm not sure. Obviously, COD is one of those things where it's a yearly basis thing, so it, it really wouldn't make a whole lot of sense right away. It, it would probably be very rough going from the getting a new COD every year to having to play one COD for three years. Um, obviously the developers would have to look into that game and actually make it really, really solid so that it would last that long. I also have this idea for the co the competitive scene, the competitive Call of Duty scene, right? We know that it's kind of growing, it's, you know, it's been established for a while. Uh, it, it is some sort of ability to stay and have more of a professional feel to it if it were to monopolize on one game for a while and, and by this I mean a lot of games like CSGO you know you look at CSGO you look at League of Legends you know League of Legends was posted in 2009 and that game is still rocking right now in the competitive scene as well as casual and then you have Overwatch obviously that got posted a while ago it's not you know a yearly basis they're posting Overwatch obviously the developers are adding new characters along the way I don't know if Call of Duty has that ability, has that capacity, but if you look at a game like CSGO, the game relatively doesn't change. There's a few updates that maybe change weapons or add maybe a weapon or two in, but there's never really this, the core strategic value of the game changes. It, it never really changes with Overwatch either, except for the whole fact that you add a whole new character that you have to realize you have to change comp for, which is actually cool for Overwatch. Overwatch did a really good job of making a game that can constantly evolve. but. Each of those video games kind of have an established feel to it. They're regular updates and they add new stuff. And pro they're prospering because of it. Obviously, this, this, this would not help Call of Duty a whole lot unless there were to be some sort of mechanic that Call of Duty specifically could take a hold of and then use that to continually build onto. Uh, let's talk about Black Ops 4. That's probably the footage you're seeing behind me. I'm not saying that Treyarch should be the sole producer if they were to come out with only just the one developer for Call of Duty, but it's just the newest one. In this one, they have characters. They have characters for the specific abilities. They have different things that you can use for each character. You don't even have to use them. You can put a stun or a grenade on them as well. But these specific characters have their own abilities, their own stuff. They just recently added another one, and I'm thinking maybe this could possibly work for keeping a game the same for a while and keeping a game. Obviously, they have zombies, they have blackout. You know, you come out and just continually update and evolve these three game modes, you might be able to create this game where it never has to change. Now, the whole part of Call of Duty dropping every year is so that Activ Activision can make all of their money uh, constantly because they're always dropping DLC, they're always making a new Call of Duty every single year. Uh, well, each one's three years in development, but every single year they're dropping a new Call of Duty, and then, you know, they have all of these microtransactions as well. Um, the only reason I think, or this even brought up to me, was because Black Ops 4 has the potential to stay the sole producer of Call of Duty, 
just because of the fact that it has its own BR mode, it has zombies, it has multiplayer, it's got three different aspects for three different types of people or one type of person that likes all of them. If you were able to bring two studios together, maybe to create a coalition to continually work on these three aspects of the game and continually evolve them and, you know, drop maybe giant DLC packs that uh, Elder Scrolls Online does where they drop a $40 thing every like six months and then you've got all this crazy content that just adds on top of it which could possibly work if you think about if you add maybe more maps and more maps for multiplayer maybe more characters for multiplayer or if you keep the multiplayers for the, the the characters free for multiplayer but maybe add a few more guns uh, I wouldn't add guns actually in multiplayer never mind <laughs> uh, maybe just maps for multiplayer and then uh, you could add more blackout items that come with the purchase of it and then maybe a new map and then you know you come out with zombies obviously you just add on more maps for zombies i see the potential there but i'm not really quite sure of the logistics of the whole idea you know this is kind of just a a brainstorming topic it's not really necessarily something that could actually happen and i'm saying needs to i'm just saying it could and it'd be cool if it did you know it, it should only have one developer because if one developer is working on it that one developer developer can take all of the criticism that makes a game good and create a game that's good instead of making it every single year we're having to switch to a new developer and say I don't like this I don't like this whereas last year the developer fixed that by the end of it and we were loving the game it's just some sort of crazy thing that could happen I, I don't know I don't think it's ever gonna happen um, but the only way this probably would happen is if Activision cared about its game and it ca cared about its pro scene and it cared about all the things that the gamers love, right? It, it, they don't really care about it. The publishing company doesn't, they, you know, it's the money. It's obviously the money. There, there's really one sole issue about it and it's dollars. But if Call of Duty, uh, the publisher and the developer were to come together and say, hey, I think we can sustain this game for a couple of years, you know, if we just keep adding stuff on and I think this is possible, then we might be able to see Call of Duty switch to just one developer and then not, you know, divulge a single game out every single year. I think the only reason that maybe the pro scene kind of loses credibility every year is that the pros never get to get situated. You know, they, they, they have to literally get free copies of the game early. That That's what probably they do. Or they just get copies of the game early, probably at a discounted price for the organizations themselves. And so they're, they're playing these games early. They can't post anything about it. They can't do anything until the game actually drops. Then they're posting things about it. They're playing the game. And then, you know, the next year rolls around. They have to switch to a completely new meta, completely new movement system, completely new aiming, guns, everything. They just have to change everything. And it kind of makes the competitive scene a little wobbly because not every single team is getting maybe the same amount of practice every single year some teams come in more practice than others and some teams get invited to things early than other teams would because they don't really have the game to play yet or they don't have the resources to uh, get a pro team set up immediately it just it's just i think that's maybe why the competitive scene just is a little wobbly in the whole f aspect of this yearly switch I mean, I'm mainly talking about this from the competitive standpoint because of that fact. Um, I'd like to see the COD community grow a lot. You know, it's super fun to watch esports grow, and I'd like to watch Call of Duty do it at this do it the same. I mean, they have great commentators. They have great, you know, team chemistries out there. They have really big organizations playing for it. I think it'd be really cool if COD could get up to the CSGO Overwatch level during tournaments. But like I said, you know, it, the transition, if it were to happen, it'd be insanely rocky. It would be probably the rockiest two years of our lives. You know, you know, going from the one year post of a new Call of Duty so we never get bored to Call of Duty that maybe lasts for four or five years and we're just constantly getting new updates and new changes. It would be super interesting to do that. Um, I'm not really sure about the longevity of Blackout. I, I feel like Blackout could possibly last for a very long time. Fortnite is going to last for a very long time. I know that, the Battle Royale part. And Blackout, I think, could, but it's just, it's going to be super rocky to try and post a different game. And I'm hoping the next Call of Duty doesn't have the same idea and tries to bring in a new Blackout, a new, like, Blackout version. And it could be way rockier, and then we have to restart. We have to restart with, I don't like this, I don't like this, this needs to change, the armor's OP, this, you know, the dropping in, I'm getting killed, dropping out of the plane, <laughs> it's bad. So uh, those are my ideas. Take them with a grain of salt. They're just basically um, opinionated suggestions. I'm just chucking them out there out of my brain that kind of just popped up in there for some reason. I don't know why. But uh, that's going to be the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you'd like to subscribe to the content that I'm giving you, go ahead and smash the subscribe button. You don't have to smash it. Just click it with your mouse. It's, it's not that hard. That's all I have for you. See you later.